don't blink it's your boy ink welcome to the video welcome to the show guys are doing well because you guys are having a fantastic freaking day uh we're having a, a kind of emotional day today it is the end of an era the end of my hero academia you see what i did there see what i did there i have a tattoo of Izu, um deku midoriya uh itadori midoriya i don't know his fucking name guys i this is my 10th 15 videos tonight, so I'm tired. Um, sorry about that. I'm just looking. I'm just looking for a video to watch. Um, but it's the end of an era, and we did a video for two things. We did an, a video for Walking Dead, and we did a video for My Hero Academia. I'll be honest, I didn't watch the end. I, I'll be honest, I didn't read the end. I got pretty far though. I got pretty far. I got to the civil arc of the uh, the manga. Um, but here's my thought on the ending of My Hero Academia. Uh, here's my thoughts, and I like again. I don't mind spoiler, because I'm going to watch it, I'm going to react to it. But still, you know, it's kind of the situation of, of I did like the, I did like the anime, but I didn't like the anime. So, um, here we go. And listen, I'm not a... It, uh, I was a fan of my, my Hero Academia, to a certain point... Not to say it's flawed. And I do like my Hero Academia. I think the first arc is amazing. And I don't know what you're saying, Inky. You just said, you're just contradicting yourself. You say you like, you like My Hero Academia, but you said you don't like it. Well, I'm going to give you a classic example of Berserk, which is another manga. Berserk. Berserk is, um, to a certain case, uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's really weird because Berserk, you can watch it on age, at the beginning and an end, and it's super, super, super satisfying. And don't like the rest of Berserk, right? It's completely different. The beginning of uh, My Hero Academia, to me, is perfection. The beginning of My Hero Academia is amazing. So what is My Hero Academia? My Hero Academia is a world of people that live together. That somebody, Some of them has Kirks, some of them don't have Kirks, right? And it's kind of cool. We kind of like that. We do appreciate the fact that, hey, look at those characters. And uh, some of them have power knots. Then we had a second thing that makes My Hero Academia perfect, which is the Academy. We love Academy. We love Harry Potter. We loved uh, Naruto. We loved um, another manga with an Academy. Well, muscle right now, but... See, My, my Hero Academia was beginning to an end. Beginning of people enrolling in the Academy. Learning to become a hero, becoming a hero, and actually acting out as a hero. That's the main plan. If you look at the intro, that's the main plan. Those guys are normal people. Some of them have Kirks, right? Um, and then you have those people that don't have Kirks that need to be protected. Uh, some of them are going to be some, going to learn to become heroes, and then they become extremely good heroes, and then they act out of being hero, right? So it's a complete cycle. Is from beginning to an end, right? Now. What I, I also love a lot of the characters. In the beginning, there's so many characters that had promises. The the natural Deku ship, which was uh, Uara. It's been a while, guys. We had In Ingenium, which was a guy who went fast. And it's funny because you look at X-Men, and it's very, very similar. Yeah, to the, to the rookie, the prodigy um, of Fire and Ice. You had, um, you had Bakugo. Right, who was the most likely to become a villain, right? And that was pretty much it, right? So what I love about this is you're seeing those characters and you think in my case, right, in my case, my academia wasn't the first comic I saw. It wasn't the second one, it wasn't the third one, it wasn't the fourth one. It was one of the it, it, I I watch a lot of mangas, a lot of animes, right? And it, it, it goes to show, it goes, it's really simple, actually. Um, my Hero Academia is nothing new, it's nothing inventive. I just said it was a hero, which is something that every single anime has. It's an academy thing, which every single academy, there's a lot of academy, uh, manga, comics, whatever you want to fucking call it, right? Um, so you think, so for example, Bakugo, who has the making of becoming a villain, you think that he's going to become a villain, right? Um, Todoroki, who has an asshole father, you think this father is going to have a purpose. You think his father is going to be either an asshole or not an asshole, right? Um, <laughs> see, that's what I love about my era academia. That's what I loved about it. Um, the fact that Deku was the perfect hero, not because he had the strongest Kirk, because of what he represented. The fact that they, they saw Hero, and it was an amazing... The beginning of my hero academia is... That's what I hate about my hero. That's what I fucking hate. The beginning is perfection. The, the beginning and uh, the show is perfection again. Um, it is 
every single concept uh, use the the better you, your Kirk, the more power you have. The more power you have, the better hero you become. The better hero you become, the more money you make, which is a fucked up system. But it's a system that we see in real life. More power, more money. Right? It makes sense in real life. It should make sense in a manga. However, there's a villain, and that villain is very strong. And say, hey, you guys are a fucking hero. You guys are after a paycheck. A real hero doesn't need money. The only hero that there is is All Might, which is the teacher of. The teacher of Izuku Midoriya, right? There's a problem. Um, there's a problem of inheritance. For example, the bully, which is Bakugo, which is the closest to become a, a, a bad guy, right? Has a wonderful Kirk and Deku, which is the closest to become a good guy, doesn't have it. So he meets his hero. He meets his hero, his role model, and his role model give him the Kirk. Give him his power and said, listen, you're the next one. And it's, a, it's another concept that I really, really, really enjoyed in My Hero Akimiya. See? I didn't watch the whole thing, right? I didn't watch the whole thing. And I can tell you how it ended. I can tell you what happened. I watched the last episode out of curiosity. Um, I don't care about being spoiled. I care about how we got there, okay? Um, I can tell you exactly what happened, and it's disappointing. Um, the problem, and I'm going to repeat myself, the problem with My Hero Academia, you have such a concept. You have such amazing concept. You fucking wasted them. Okay, with with um, Izuku becoming the symbol, and it's amazing. It's super, super, super fucking amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Um, All Might is wounded. He is looking for another apprentice. That apprentice happens to be the main character. So you're creating a need. You're creating a need for All Might and Izuku together. All Might needs a, a t he needs a student, and Izuku needs a teacher. What is the best teacher student relationship in mangas? You saw. I'm going to tell you mine, if you don't mind, of course. Jiraiya and Naruto. Naruto needed a teacher. Jiraiya needed to, a needed to keep an eye on the Ninetale Fox. Make sense? You don't say it makes sense. It does make sense. I know I know it does. Um, Sorry, I'm looking for a video. Uh, let's watch... Uh... Let's watch this. So... Um, you have another case where it was a symbol of peace, and it was a symbol of peace, which it was a secret that he was losing, losing his power. You put in pressure, right? And the only reason for Izuku to that he has to succeed, he has to succeed, has to succeed is because if he doesn't succeed, then there's no hope. All Might is not going to be there. All Might is lying, but he's buying time for Izuku to become stronger. What happened? All Might loses power. What also happened? I might get his suit. I might get his power back. So the whole entire thing where you had the need from Iz for um, Izuku to become stronger is a case, right? Now another problem that I had was all for one, the fact that you could have every single power that is, and Izuku ended up having more than one quirk. He ended up having a lot of quirk. Why is that a problem? Why am I not happy with that? It's a good thing you have more power. It's more interesting, right? Because All Might need, didn't need 7 power. All Might had 1 power, it was a symbol of peace. Izuku basically do it with 7 power. So you're building a main character that is supposed to be stronger than his teacher. It's supposed to be the next generation. It's supposed to be the next hope. But you make him weaker than the, next, the last generation. You put him the same villain, which is all for one versus one for all. Right? It doesn't make sense. Even the concept of one for all and all for one is amazing. All for one was an all for one and all for one were two brothers. One had the power to give uh, this quirk to others. One person had the power to take the, the quirk from others. Very similar. Why am I not happy? Because you got two people. You got Izuku, right, who represent the good guy, the good brother, my problem with Izuku is becoming he become he becomes a villain. Why is it a problem? I shouldn't care that he becomes a villain. I shouldn't give a fuck. But I do give a fuck for a simple reason. You don't have a balance. You don't have a balance. We'll get to it later on. You're putting all for one. All for one give the powers away. All for one was supposed to be a fucking selfish person. No, he just wanted to beat All Might, but All Might was already defeated. He, wanted to, he just wanted to defeat All for One. Even the um, sh the the student Shingeki, um, I don't know his name. I, I might be wrong. Even the student, right? 
It's sad. Because you say, oh, he's a student of, he's a, the kid of the teacher, of all my teacher. Which served no purpose, because yes, she was all my teacher, which is, makes it sad. But what, what, what is the link between uh, Izuku and all my teacher? There's no link. There's absolutely no link. And you're presenting a concept that's interesting because you love your teacher. You're not going to hurt her, her kids, right? He, he, he manipulated All Might into choosing the only person he wouldn't hurt. Even if it meant not being able to save the world. But for Izuku, it meant nothing. Good concept. Very good concept. Very, very incredible concept. What's an incredible concept? Again, all for one got the power of immortality. All for one changed. And one for all didn't change. It was different generation. I understand I didn't want to kill his brother. Could have killed other people. No. Now there's a possibility that all for one wanted all for, that all for one wanted one for all to get stronger. They could have just stole the the quirk. Why didn't you bother? Right? It doesn't make any sense. And the League of Evil, right? And the League of Evil is there, but there's only a couple of characters that matters. Just like in the school, there's a lot of people that couldn't be hero. There's um, there's concepts that are amazing. Um, one of the concepts, right? I'm going to come back to Izuku Midoriya as a teacher. And you realize that one of the one of the person that really loved All Might was Bakugo. Bakugo could have been a really good student. Could have been a very good inheritor of All for One. Bakugo had more... He had more... Um, what should I call it? More uh, potential than Deku. And now you're saying, yeah, but Deku had a... a a heroic heart. <sighs> he did have an heroic heart. That's the truth. But Baku, he, he ended up being a villain. Deku is a villain. He becomes a, de a villain. You see, he based up this whole story. And you build up other characters. For example, one of the other things that I didn't like. Todoroki, right? Todoroki ends up being understanding his father. He's not so much of a bad guy. He's an asshole. But he's not the biggest asshole. He was just jealous of All Might, right? And when it was a turn for Endeavor to become number one, he was a great hero. You put him against Dabi, his brother. Now that there's no Todoroki, there's no none of them. See, you putting a ship between Uara. You putting another character called Toga. Toga does like Deku because she does like Deku. We can see people love to, uh, Toya or Toga. Um, they could have seen her as this amazing. Very amazing, um, extremely, <laughs> extremely amazing, uh, hero, right? If she was, if Deku would have convinced her to choose the right side, probably she would have chose the right side. My other problem, we're going back to Todoroki. See, it, it was, no, sorry, Toga and Wara were both love interests of Deku, was perfect. Wara was the girl he should have chosen. Toga was the girl he could have chosen, but didn't because at least he did something with her. To the, to the rookie, yes. The main point was his brother was a bad guy. He was Dabi. And Dabi exposed the, the, exposed the father, Endeavor, which is the number one hero. So Endeavor is the number two hero, but All Might gets hurt. Then it becomes Endeavor, um, becomes the first hero. He does expose Endeavor as the worst hero. But then, when he exposed him, it's nearing the end. And when you exposed the father, a couple of episodes later, or like a, a, a series or season later, the new popular hero are the students. They became a hero. See, and you you end up... in The, the most interesting thing that they did was um, the training arc, which was which brought like Uara to a uh, martial artist. She became a really strong fighter, but she doesn't fight. See, um, with Deku, um, the problem again with being a, a, a uh, he became the vigilante. You have time to build up your 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 villains. You have time to build up your your people. Bakugo, who could have become a villain, ended up being a good guy. Izuku, who was supposed to be the hero, became a bad guy. Right? You had people like Todoroki, that Ingenium. Ingenium shine was over after one season. You had other characters you could build up on. My hero had great potential. And that is the goal of the game. That is the goal of the show. To, de to deliver the potential of Deku. See, my biggest problem with uh, my hero wasn't the execution. It was the fact that it was a good concept. See, you can have a bad concept. There's a horrible anime out there. 
my hero was a good enemy that ended up badly. See, the ending, um, there was no romantic ending, which is a shocker because you put the anime uh, in a case of romantic, right? Um, you even put in a, a, a spy, you put in the concept. You put in a mouse, which is, which is super smart, as a principal. You don't use that. You don't use that. You put in Nomu as bad guy, just for them to be mass-produced. See, the problem with that also is no move were super strong. No move were stronger in the training arc when it becomes a time to become a, uh, a villain. Doesn't matter. See, they're even introduce introducing a villain called Muscular. Muscular has the same similar power to Deku. And then they reintroduce him. And De Deku has other power. So it's not the same battle. It's not it's Quirk against Quirk and who has the better power. They, they put in this character, right? Who allows Deku to use a thousand percent of his power. They don't use it after a season. See, it's a bunch of good ID that they abandon. It doesn't matter if you abandon it's, if you abandon IDs. It doesn't matter. They have to replace them. And with my hero the Kirinia, they felt like it, they didn't replace them. Uh, they felt like the the villain was always gonna be the same. Um, there's this league of villain. You see, the, the other problem also is um, I would have loved. Seeing an academy for young, for very young, bad guys. We don't get that. We do not get that. It's a shame. It's a shame. See, the the whole the whole thing that that bothered me the most. Once again, it's Deku. Um, there's a huge point in saying, "Oh my, it says to Deku, it's your turn now." What does Deku do? Becomes a bad guy. Doesn't make any fucking sense. That was pisses me off. Call me complicated, tell me, call me uh, an asshole. That's how I feel. So yeah, it's an ending, and I'm supposed to make epic videos, but... I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna watch it either way. Maybe I'm wrong. Prove me wrong. But, uh... And that's my problem. My hero was one of the most popular. It was called one of the big three. Oh, my hero was one of the big three. So the big three were originally super simple. Super, super, super simple. Uh, my apologies. The big tree was Naruto, Bleach, One Piece. There was another big tree, which was My Hero, Attack on Titan, and Black Clover. Black Clover, people don't talk about it anymore. People don't talk about, I don't know why. Anywho, long enough video, sorry about the rent. Just disappointing.